www.udo.de Hey guys, my name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo VR. Um, we will get a pretty huge upgrade for the MetaQuest headsets. It's called version 71. And this will be rolled out starting from November 4th, 2024. Um, but don't um, be sad if you don't get it exactly on November 4th. Sometimes they are rolling out the update in waves yeah so perhaps you you will be uh seven days later yeah or, or so that, that could also be the case so what do we have here 71 is a pretty great update it's a huge update and the first thing we, we need to talk about is we have a design refresh and some new settings for example you you can see it here that looks pretty good yeah so we have this black background here the element that's selected is like white and so on everything is round and that looks pretty good it looks modern yeah and we also have a dark mode appearance um, and uh, changes to the dark mode and improved light mode really interesting and that's what i really love that they keep um, updating the user interface so it looks more modern and so on yeah they say it's now easier to find something. We will see that, <laughs> yeah? So the next one is audio to expression with um, artificial intelligence. So um, it, it's still there that uh, if you speak into the microphone of the MetaQuest headset, then your virtual avatar may uh, move his uh, lips. But now they have an SDK for the developers. so that even the the muscles of the the yeah of your face or so face expressions are translated into your virtual avatar yeah that's really cool uh, just by talking yeah just by talking not uh, with the only with the face tracking stuff just by talking and that's really interesting yeah so meta is really pushing that uh, social vr stuff and that's interesting the next one is, we, we've already had some updates for the pass-through, but you know, still there are some problems sometimes with the pixels and the dark environments and whatever. So now in this update, they improve the frame rate. So they synchronize the camera's frame rate to the frame rate of your display. And they say it looks smoother now. That's pretty good. Yeah, so I love that they really pushing that stuff. So, um, um, for example, yeah, Meta is pushing mixed reality. And for mixed reality, you need a very good pass-through. So they are trying to improve, improve, improve. And for me, this is very important. Yeah, so if, if they want mixed reality su to succeed, we need even better pass-through. I mean, it's still fine. We can do a lot of stuff with the Quest headsets. Uh, Quest 3 and Quest 3S, but uh, still I would love to have a little bit improved, especially when it's not so uh, bright in your room. The next update in the version 71 is travel mode. So as you perhaps know, we already had some travel modes, for example, for airplane. So if you were sitting in a plane, then you could use your Quest with a uh, perfect tracking yeah so uh, if before that update everything was bad uh, virtual elements are flying away during the flight and so on and that works and now we even got a train mode so you can do that in a train that's also pretty good right <clears throat> the next update we have is a sound upgrade so we will have support for dolby atmos and dolby digital surround and how does it work? So we don't have like 10,000 uh, <laughs> speakers in your headset, but it depends on where you move your head. So if there's a voice coming from the right side and we turn our head here, it's coming from the front and so on. Yeah, And that's what they try to improve with support of Dolby Atmos and Dolby Digital Surround. That's pretty cool, right? Then an update that I, I think I, I don't really need, but <laughs> it's a calendar app. Yeah, we will have a calendar app. So <laughs> to be honest, I have my calendar in my smartphone. There are even 
like, like uh, people that use an old school uh, calendar for putting in her in their bag and so on. But I use the smartphone. But I don't think I need a calendar in my VR headset. However, it's pretty cool if you have like if you use the Horizon Word events and so on. And then it's perhaps cool to see. Oh yeah, there's the next event in the Horizon Worlds or so. <clears throat> the next thing is. Um, Normally we had to uh, install a third party app like virtual desktop or so to see our desktop uh, in a fast way. But now in the, we have a shortcut in the quick settings. So when the quest is connected to a PC, we can instantly switch and control the desktop of our PC. And that's pretty good, right? So if you want to do something, yeah, remote desktop, then you can do it very quick with the shortcut now. And one of my favorites in this update is finally, guys. So I change my location very often with my quest. And that means I'm in the living room, I'm there, I'm there. I, I, I have different rooms scanned. So as you know, if you want to use mixed reality, you have to scan your room. Yeah, like creating a mesh, uh, like a 3D mesh for, from, the, from the room. And do you remember now? When, when you uh, finish the room scan, then you can place furniture or pictures or doors or windows or so. And if you were finished with that, you say, okay, I'm finished. But after that, you could not edit it anymore. You had to repeat the whole scan. Yeah? But with this new update version 71, you can re-edit a room mesh. And that's so cool. You can even see a mini miniature version of the 3D scan of your room so that you know ah this is this room and so on and then you can edit it and add some more furniture that's really cool that's really nice the next one is we have a volume mixer so in the settings there is a small button for settings with the audio and then you can adjust the the voice or the audio the volume of uh, for example your whatsapp calls and your currently running app yeah and that's really that's really cool um, that you can set it now the next one is um, you can share your horizon stuff you can share videos to your horizon chat yeah um, and uh, for example also spatial videos that record that you recorded uh, from apple vision pro or so you can share it to your horizon chat um, now the question for me to you is, do you use the Horizon Chat or Horizon Feed? Do you use that? Or do you think, oh no, I, I don't use it. So for example, um, I don't really like that the Horizon Feed is so uh, in the front position. Yeah, When you put your quest on your head and then switch it on, the first thing is you have the Horizon Feed. But I don't want this. I don't... I don't really want that on first place. I, I want like the, the the library of my uh, games, yeah, and not uh, like uh, small video clips. When I want when I want to check out small video clips, I, I go on TikTok on my smartphone. Well, whatever. So do you use that? Write it in the comments below. <clears throat> and then something uh, that's very interesting. Uh, I showed you. It's not a long. Um, a time ago, I showed you the Logitech MX Ink Pen, the virtual pen, you know, um, that you can write uh, in the air and paint and so on. And I explained to you that you have to use um, your smartphone app, the Horizon app, to connect the controllers or the MX Ink Pen or so. And with the update 71, you can do that inside the headset finally. So if you want to connect the pen or connect another controller, like the uh, Quest Pro controllers, you can do that inside the headset. And that's really nice. And what I also love is now you can see um, when and what an app is accessing. Yeah. So from your permission. So for example, you can see a live a real-time permission indicator when an app has access to your microphone at right at the moment yeah that's really cool or access to your uh, data and so on and that's really something i love so as you can see there is a lot of stuff yeah a lot of stuff going on and uh, i really appreciate that i mean you can think about meta whatever you want but uh, let's be honest they are really pushing that stuff they are putting money in their hands and then 
they push every update out. I mean, it's really cool, yeah? It's really nice. I absolutely appreciate that. And um, guys, if you still don't have a Meta Quest 3 or Quest 3S, I will put the link in the description below. You can save 30 bucks. Yeah, if you uh, go via my link and uh, not save, I mean, you can get a um, game credit, yeah, $30 game credit when you go via my link, if you order the headset and it's really nice. I can tell you, um, I will put the link of this uh, Upload VR article also in the description. It's really nice. So I hope you liked the video. If yes, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo